here at uh, Bel Air High School with head coach Byron Wade coming off their first win of the season against Broadmoor High School on your guys' homecoming night. Um, that was a really big win for you guys, and it was kind of, you guys played to a lot of your strengths in that game is what it looked like. All season long, you know, like your defense has showed glimpses of how great they can actually be. They've had quarters of games where they've been really great, and then but they finally were able to put a whole game together. You know, your run game has been a strength, and that was something that got you that win against Broadmoor on Friday night. What does it mean to you and to the team to get that first win of the season? Uh, it means a lot. We have been working very hard. We've been close a lot of different games. As we look back, we look at what mistakes we've made that have prevented us from having success. So going into this game, we just really wanted to clean up all the mistakes and really try and have, play a perfect game. Um, and we, we didn't do that, but we, we were able to come out with a victory. So to have that under our belts, um, it means something. It means that from last week to this week, we're taking steps in the right direction. So. Everybody's happy, but we're not satisfied. Yeah. Uh, what went well in the win? Uh, the running game went really well. Uh, we knew that we would be able to run the ball. Uh, we were able to have Javion Morgan um, get over 100 yards. He wasn't able to get in the end zone, which was a, a bit frustrating. But um, just to have 100 yards, it means something in any game, whether you win or lose. So for us to know that the running plays that we've been running all season, to be able to have continuity and have success in that area um, is something for us to be proud of. Other than Javion, you had guys, other guys running the ball, you had guys on defense, you had people all over the field that had great games. Who do you see as some of the big contributors? Uh, Caleb Josen. He, he's a very humble kid. I really get on him a lot, and I set the bar really high for him because I see the potential that he has. Um, wherever we need him to play, he steps in and he plays. Um, so for him to be able to get a pick six touchdown, um, to get a lot of carries and run real hard and get us first down, it, it says something. And it also puts fire under the, the running backs that are ahead of him because they come to the sideline tired and they see that we're really not missing a beat when a 10th grader comes in and is doing just as good or if not better. So I really would like to highlight him. Uh, Derek Lamb, um, who was our second string running back, we use him in a lot of different areas. He doesn't come off the field. He's our return specialist. He plays cornerback. Uh, he plays receiver also. Um, and even on the punt team, he's one of our gunners. Um, so we rely on him heavily. And it was good to, to, to have him be able to get in the end zone and have some positives um, takeaways from the homecoming game. Yeah, Caleb Joseph is a guy who we've seen more and more as the season goes on. We talk more and more about him. He's been stepping up into a lot of roles. And it's something that a lot of people are noticing, in my opinion. But uh, what kind of football team do you expect to see on this Friday from Plaquemine? Uh, angry football team. Uh, last year, we beat them. Um, we beat them 13 to nine, and it was the first time we beat them in school history. Plaquemine has always been a powerhouse. Um, they've always been one of the best teams in the state of Louisiana. That's their reputation, that's their pedigree. And I think that because they're undefeated, they're definitely wanting to take a vengeance approach um, on us in their homecoming. Um, we're not going to bow down. We're not going to lay down. Um, we're preparing um, to be able to stop what they do well and, you know, be able to identify what we need to do offensively to have some drives that turn from first downs to touchdowns. Do you have any keys to the game? Uh, we have to tackle and we have to know who we have to block. Um, knowing who we have to block makes it easier. They're not just going to stand there and let you block them. 
But when we can identify who we have to block, um, it allows our ball carriers to be able to get enough yards to get us a first down. And that's really our philosophy, take what the defense gives you. Um, but we have to do a great job of tackling. Um, they have some explosive guys um, that we see on film. Um, and we just got to play football, play the type of football we're capable of playing um, and go to Plaquemine and get this victory. Yeah, coming off a big win on homecoming night for you guys, and you guys have four more games remaining on the season. Do you have any goals moving forward? Um, well, our goal is to finish the season on a winning note. So each game that we play, we want to get better and better. What I've identified as a coach is we're still teaching. We're still learning as a team. And it's not I use our youthfulness as the reason, but these guys – haven't played high school football for a long time. So being the expectations are pretty high, some of them just don't learn as fast and, and retain things as fast as you would expect. So just understanding that each practice, even in each game, we have to still coach and teach is very important for the overall development of each player um, as well as the team. So our goals is to basically make sure that we leave this season um, with everybody having a higher football IQ and a better understanding of what we expect um, going into the offseason. Well, that's all we have today for Co uh, week seven of Coach's Corner with Bel Air's Byron Wade. We'll be back next week to recap this Friday's game against Plaquemine and see what we have moving forward against West Feliciana.